What's up, you two buzz? I said I was going to make a video on, uh, I want to try to simulate if we fixed a radiator or, you know, a heater core, something like that. What I did was take a, went and got an aluminum pot from the Salvation Army. And to get a good adhere, I grinded it a little bit, you know, on a grinder, then wire wheeled it to get a, a really good, uh, adhere, so it sticks really well. I know if it was in the car, you know, I would use a, a drill with a, a little grinder on it, grind it good like that, then wire, which I'd give it a good rough surface to stick to. So we're going to fix these, and then I'm going to put water in this above the line there. And I'm going to use my digital thermometer and my map gas. I'm just going to sit and torch this baby and see how hot we can get that water to see if the super glue, you know, when it melts, if it does. Now, what I'm going to do for the, because I can, you won't be able to do this on a radiator, but I'm going to put this on the inside to stop the baking soda from falling through. So we're going to do the same thing. Uh, I gotta go grab some uh, super glue. I think I'm, yeah, I'm about out. I'll be right back. Okay, that super glue's about empty. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's do the same thing as the other ones. Let's fill up that little hole. I would assume drilling through here uh, would rough up the, the inside of it. There. Now I'm going to put our super glue on. Again, we filled the hole. And we'll make sure we get the super glue out at least as far as the grinding, you know. And then we'll uh, put some more on it. Make sure we get a, a lot around that edge. You can see the advantage to doing this because if you try to just put super glue on here, number one, it starts to run. And number two, dries faster. You don't have to wait so long to do whatever you're doing for your project, you know. Ah. This one's kind of downhill a little bit, so so lift it up, you idiot! How the hell is that? <laughs> I'm getting really good at wasting baking soda. That's for sure. I haven't worked out here much in the cold with this stuff, so yeah, now she's hard. Except for this big, big drop down there. That might be a little bit still. We'll let her sit for a couple more minutes. So yeah, there's your, there's your answer to. Uh, if it's cold out, the super glue takes a little bit longer to bond. So there's an FYI if you had to do something outside in the winter. Or just, you know, where it's cold or whatever. That should be a... Uh... And like I always say, put your lid back on. And then I don't. OK. 
Okay. Well, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but she's fixed. Yeah. Okay, now let's uh, pull that tape off inside. See what that looks like. Yeah. You see in there? Looks like it bonded okay. I wonder if I should do a little bit on the inside too. But see, we wouldn't be able to do that on a radiator, so I don't I don't want to do the inside. I'm assuming it would make it stronger. I know it would. Now, I don't know how much heat this is gonna take, honestly. So first off, I guess let's just get some water, pour it in here, and I'll get a brick to sit on here to put this on top of. We'll get water in there and then we'll we'll get the gun and see what we can do from this. First off, let's see if uh if it holds water. <laughs> There's the side with the super glue on it. It is holding water, okay. Now, I think this big old slab chunk of old cutting edge will be okay. Okay. What I'm gonna do is try to get this far away as I can here so you can at least see these two are facing the camera. Let me get my uh, map gas. I could have used LP, but map gas burns a lot hotter. Now let me get my uh, digital gauge here. I bought this just to make this video supposed to tell you the temperature of something if you point at it so I guess this will be a, a good test for this too so we'll give her a try no idea how long it's going to take to heat something like this up either just one little torch so let's see what uh find out how to run this. <laughs> That's Celsius, okay. Sixty-four, sixty-eight, seventy-two. We want to get her up to 195 maybe, if we can. See if that super glue breaks loose. 78 for goose holding so far. I would have done this on the stove, you know, to get it up the temp quick, but I didn't want those busting loose in the house and <laughs> dropping shit all over, you know. And then we're getting up to 130, 160. Let her go a little more. Super glue's holding. We're at 100 and I'd say 40, 50, something like that. She's still holding. Hope you can see the spots there. Jeez. There we go. 200. 215, 220. Hope well, we can keep going. One, 200. 
208, 209, 210. That cuts it. I wanted to go to I wanted to go to 195. Because that's what the radiator should be running around. But I went I went to 210, 220, 230 a couple times, but uh We'll let that hot water sit in there, but there you go. She's not leaking at all. And that's exactly what we wanted to find out. How hot could we get that super glue and baking soda? We're going to fix the radiator. This is how you do it. <clears throat> okay, it's already down to 80, 85, so I would say that was fairly successful. We got uh, up to 210. Probably, I'd say we were averaging at least, you know, 200 or more. And I wanted to get up to 195, so that was good. We'll, uh, we'll call that good. So there you go. We fixed two holes in the aluminum. A bigger hole and a smaller hole. Fixed them both, and they both held. Now, I went up to... Uh... Oh, crap. I suppose I should have told you the drill bit sizes, huh? <laughs> I just drilled them and, and put the drills away. Well, here we go. It was these two for size. So, the small one was 764s, and the larger one was 1164. Those were the two sizes that I used. The one was uh, it's fairly big. Considering these uh, holes, one of them was fairly big. Most holes in radiators are just pinholes. But here's another FYI. Um, now we know that you can do plastic. I couldn't, you know, do a plastic radiator and heat it up with a torch. Obviously, it would melt the plastic. But you know the super glue will hold up to 195 so i would say you might be safe probably safe you know doing a plastic radiator too uh cleaning it up is the whole main thing you know cleaning her up and getting a good adhesion to it you know adhesion is that a word to get it to adhere good it's all about the cleanup so anyway i think that was a pretty successful video uh super glue and baking soda held up to 200 degrees plus so that's good for fixing radiators aluminum or plastic steel if it's old or whatever but there you go bob's lawn service and plowing i'm out